Now we've been patient up to this point, but it seems you extraterrestrials aren't getting the message. You continue to hover around our planet like a swarm of interstellar paparazzi. And frankly, we're getting a bit irritated. Our skies are not your personal playground, and we're not here to entertain your cosmic curiosities. Let's be straight. We're not losing sleep over the whole cosmic jamboree. Space to us is like a big empty parking lot. We've got stuff to do on this hunk of dirt, and your celestial shenanigans aren't high on our priority list. Down here, it's been a real roller coaster. Wars, peace treaties, and yeah, we put pineapple on pizza. We don't give a damn about you and your cosmic meddling. Look, we humans have been minding our own business on this little blue dot for as long as our history books can remember. We've had our fair share of problems, wars, and disagreements, but we sorted them out among ourselves. Now, you intergalactic spectators, you've got your fancy ships and advanced tech buzzing around our Earth like nosy insects. First, it was the strange lights in the night sky. We didn't bat an eye. Probably some headlights malfunctioning in your mothership. Then came the probes. Sleek metal intruders poking their noses where they didn't belong. We shrugged it off, figuring you were just playing with your high-tech toys. But enough is enough. Now you folks have been watching, analyzing, and probably judging. We don't care. We're not some reality show for you to dissect. We're not here for your amusement. Our message is simple. Back off. Take your shiny saucers and flashing lights and point them elsewhere. We're not joining your cosmic club, and we're definitely not interested in being your science experiment. Earth is our home, and we'll defend it with everything we've got. You might have advanced technology and knowledge of the universe, but we've got something you lack, good old human stubbornness. We won't be swayed, and we won't be intimidated. We're a tenacious bunch, and we've faced our fair share of challenges. So, extraterrestrial friends, take a hint. We're not looking for allies or enemies in the vastness of space. We're content with what we have right here on Earth, and we don't need your interference. If you're smart, you'll find another corner of the cosmos to explore because Earth is off limits. You may have analyzed our history, our cultures, and our quirks, but you've missed the essence of what it means to be human. It's not about the wars we fought or the borders we drew. It's about the connections we've forged, the stories we tell, and the simple joys we find in our everyday lives. We don't need your advanced knowledge or your promises of a grander existence. We found beauty in the mundane, strength in unity, and hope in the face of adversity. So, your attempts to enlighten us with your cosmic wisdom fall on deaf ears. In case it hasn't sunk in yet, let me be crystal clear. Earth is not a pawn in your cosmic chess game. We won't be manipulated, experimented on, or coerced into following your agenda. We've weathered storms, both metaphorical and literal, and we've emerged resilient. We don't need your interference to solve our problems or chart our destiny. So, in conclusion, dear extraterrestrial onlookers, take your advanced technology, your probing curiosity, and your cosmic agendas, and leave us be. Earth is not a puzzle for you to solve or a prize for you to claim. We're a species that thrives on our uniqueness, our diversity, and our ability to find joy in the simplest of moments. Don't mistake our reluctance for fear. We're not afraid of the unknown. We're just fiercely protective of what's ours. And what's ours is this pale blue dot spinning in the vastness of space. We don't need your validation or your interference. We'll navigate our own path, thank you very much. So, until you learn to respect our boundaries, stay out of our skies, and let us be the masters of our own destiny. Best regards, Earthlings.